Welcome to the Beginner's Guide. Today we meet someone who builds aeroplanes. I've always been interested in aeroplanes. I started when I was, I think, uh, 11 with model aircraft. Then one day, talking to uh, a couple of friends and that, we decided we're going to chip together and I'll do the building. And I did it at home over 15, um, 15 months at nighttime and weekend work while I was working during the day. And I put together one of these as a third year owner and uh, that's how I got into it. From building one plane in his garage, his company, Robin Koss Aviation, now has a factory near the airport. We specialize mainly in the van's RV range, which is quite a popular series worldwide. There's about 17,000 kits sold with uh, about 6,000 aircraft uh, flying. In South Africa, there's about a, over 100 aircraft flying, of which we've done about 25 of the fixed wing side. We've got facilities here where we do custom building, custom painting, build our own engines, painting, all that sort of stuff. Um, with 30 staff members, we cater for training schools now and uh, we do two-seater and four-seater construction, um, aircraft mainly, and we have a full spray booth facility, um, sheet metal facilities, engine facilities, uh, electrics, all that sort of stuff. We also have a hangar at the airport as well where we do maintenance, final assembly of our aircraft. From seeing all the planes being put together, we drove down the road to the hangar to see some more of the planes. Looking at the sleep machines, we started to wonder who would end up flying them. The typical client that we are dealing with nowadays are often business owners. They use their aircraft for uh, localized travel in their businesses. Um, and also otherwise we call them sports cars of the sky. They're two-seaters. You have fun with them. These particular aeroplanes are aerobatic as well, so you can do loops and rolls and various positive G maneuvers. Yeah, they're either business tools or sports cars, really. We find that our best results come from training up youngsters into trying to also encourage them to get into the aviation trade. A lot of people think it's uh, it's not something they can achieve, um, but it's actually there are apprenticeships available and start becoming more and more available. Um, if you're technically minded, it's a good career to get into. Uh, you know, everybody thinks of flying first, but there's the engineering side, which is more required. Otherwise, you'll never get into there. Um, and yeah, you know, the industry does need good people, uh, good young uh, guys. As there is a huge gap that's developing, so there are uh, people needed for the industry. Well, that's it for this chapter. Join us again next week for more interesting people, places, sushi, and ice cream on the Beginner's Guide.